Yes, nice to meet you too. Um, just congratulations on being chosen as our Women Driver of Excellence for Bennett Motor Express. What Thank you so much. What a surprise and an honor. Well, it's a great honor for me to be able to talk with you today. Uh, I had the opportunity to read all about you in our Women in the Driver's Seat Spotlight, and I was so impressed with um, everything that I read. Um, and I see you're in the truck. I love that. Just I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> yeah. I yes, love I'm trying to get to West Virginia tonight. Okay. Well, um, I wanted to just ask you, because I know we're doing this interview for, uh, for when we have our um, Women in the Driver's Seat Awards. So uh, tell me a little bit, Denise. I read your story, but uh, tell us how you uh, decided that you wanted to become, um, to drive a truck and, and to get into the trucking industry. Tell us a little bit about your story. You know, if you had told me growing up one day I was going to be a truck driver, I would have probably laughed and said, uh, <laughs> no. But I had an opportunity to go on the road with um, a friend from high school and he was a truck driver and I just got bit by the bug. It's something that um, you get a taste for and once it's in your system, you can't get it out. I know. Uh, it was I not easy to get into at all. Uh, but when you find something you're passionate about and you enjoy and you love, you just uh, find a way. You do. I agree. I've always said that once it gets in your blood, you can't, there's just nothing else. You just don't want to do anything else. It is. Um, so uh, tell me, I know that you went to driving school and I mean, you drive, um, you pull a flatbed or a, a drop deck. And so you pull some and a drive van mm -hmm. and a drive van. And so you're very versatile in everything that you do. Uh, so how did you, I, I know you uh, rode in the truck, but, then you went and got your CDL and, and went to driving school. So tell me a little bit about that. Well, um, my brother drove a dump truck for a company that also did third party CDL testing. Mm -hmm. And so I ended up getting my CDL first, but then nobody would hire me because I hadn't been to trucking school. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's like, darn it. <laughs> I took some money out of my 401k to live off of while I went to trucking school. I, I, I'm trying to remember, I think it was three months. I forget exactly how long it was through a vocational school where I live. And um, not long after that, my now husband uh, had been driving team for a company in California and he was looking for someone else to drive team with when the other drivers he was working with wasn't available. And that's how we ended up working together. And not long after that, um, Spark started flying and five and a half years later, still trucking together and working together, we decided, uh, you know, let's go ahead and get married. I know we talked about it, but what are we waiting for? We're so busy trucking and, and driving all <laughs> over the United States, we kept talking about it, but we never did it. And just before the pandemic, we decided let's, let's go do this. Family and friends were saying, what are you waiting for? You guys live in this truck together. You're on the road. You're always together. What are you waiting for? So we were like, yeah, you're right. So we had a week off. We run three weeks on, one week off. So we took one of our one weeks off and we flew to Montana and eloped. And today I got my wedding pictures. So oh, I've been in tears most of the morning. Um, emotional, happy. Wonderful. Yeah, I saw that you were going to Montana. Where in Montana did you get married? Glacier National Park. Oh, that's so gorgeous up there. I'm calling you today from Wyoming. We have a little ranch um, in Wyoming, and so I can work from out here. And I just absolutely love the mountains. So what a beautiful place to get married. It was. I felt like it was as close to God as we could get. And to lose all the noise and the, and the chaos going on in the world around us right now, I just wanted it to be uh, myself my love and God to join us together to start out the rest of our lives together. And uh, oh. we accomplished it. Being a woman in the driver's seat. So what are some of the challenges that you faced out on the road? Um, 
I know that uh, I read a little bit, but tell me a little bit about some of the challenges as a woman driver well, that you face. Billy has over 30 years experience and I've been driving for six years and I can be in this driver's seat, pull up to a customer and the customer can see Billy and I in the front and they will walk over to his side of the truck. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sitting right here. Come yeah. talk to me. Yeah. So uh, Billy will roll the window down and he usually says, you need to go talk to the driver. So they'll come uh -huh. back over to me and I'll be like, where do you want me to put it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just um, hard, hard for them to accept that sometimes we women can, you know, there's things that we can do just as well. So I saw that you had uh, bought a shirt that said truck driver on it so that uh, you would make sure that they knew that you were driving that truck. Yes, I'm very proud of our truck. I'm very proud of what we do. And um, any chance I get to help somebody that's starting out, that's talking about being a truck driver, but they say, oh, I'm too old or I'm too short or any issues they have, I tell them, no, you can do it. If you want to do it, you can do it. What kind of advice would you give to someone out on the road that wants to, wants to be safe? And, and how do you guys stay safe? What are some of the things? So it's lots of challenges out there with the traffic as there is. Yeah. For me personally, slow down. Do not be in such a hurry. And if you're doing your job, then you're not going to be late. Just worry about doing each task thoroughly and, and slowly. Don't rush through your pre-trip. Don't, um, don't stop and spend too much time socializing. Stay focused on doing the job and then you don't have to worry about your clock. You don't have to speed. You don't have to cut corners. Um, just be diligent in, in doing the job and don't worry about the clock. Don't let anybody push you. Yeah. Other drivers, other vehicles on the road. Um, there's going to be accidents. There's going to be delays. There's going to be traffic issues. Um, just relax and, and focus on getting there safely. Okay. Well, Denise, um, so in accepting this award, uh, is there anything that you would like to say uh, to everybody out there? Yes. Um, all drivers need help and support. And I, I just have to thank my Bennett family and my peers, my friends and family. Um, I'm especially grateful to my husband uh, for believing in me and letting me run with my passion. Um, you all inspire me to be a better person and a better driver. I don't feel so invisible out here on the road anymore. I feel like I am making a difference and, um, and thank you all so much. This award means so much to me.